Yo, it's the Booth Radio on Urban Grind TV. I go by the name of the Proud of the East Side, DJ MH Tudor, mm. and I'm surrounded by the ladies of UGTV today. <laughs> MH Sandwich. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> he married, never mind, y'all. I don't have no problem. <laughs> Did, Sonia, did you notice? Uh, you? I'm great. Did you notice something different on my little table right here in front I, of me? I did, but hold on. Hi, Tati. How are you? Hi, Damn. I'm good. How are you? Every, everybody <laughs> good. Um, it's Escobar. Yes. The table look a, a little uh, heavier. A little heavier. Some more hardware. Sorry, over guys. Here. Give the people the exciting news that you've been dying to share. Well, first of all, I want to thank everybody who voted for me. Excuse me, us. <laughs> Urban Grind TV for most popular music show. Uh huh. We won, guys. Thank you. Make some noise for that, please. Please, yes. please, 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 Amazing. please. Six years in a row. Got to put that mic down. Yes, sir. Six years in a yes, row. Yes, sir. So how you feeling, champ? <sighs> Without you, we, we definitely wouldn't you, be here. So how you know what? First of all, thank you for acknowledging that. I've right, been waiting know. for a long time for somebody to say that to me. <laughs> um, But I w you know, you think it's like, I don't know. I only have one child. But it's like if you have another another child, do you love it more? I do. Okay. I do. I love this one more because we really worked so hard this last year, especially with rolling out the Lifestyle Magazine, Absolutely. Grand Lifestyle Magazine, and with um, the inception of the Booth Radio Absolutely. and how we've been growing in state after state. And I'm just really proud of the team. We got Classic on board now. Some new faces to the right, some more ladies. Definitely. <laughs> we need it around here. <laughs> um, so I'm just really pumped, and it's well-deserved. And shout out to the Chicago Music Awards, 36 years so I wasn't able to attend. Well, How was it? Done. You guys have fun? I'm not done. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, so but because I just would really, really thank <laughs> Efron because the night was beautiful. Okay. And, you know, Billy Branch was out there. Shout out to uh, Phenom for the great performance. And I just really want to say to the other people, well, job. Thank you for being in the same court category, but we won. Okay. We brought it home and thank you. <laughs> You guys had fun. <laughs> Did you have fun at the CMAs? Yes, it was mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Again, Sonia kind of summed it up. It was a great show to go to. I love the area. It was at uh, Ballet. The Bailey Center. The Bailey, sorry. The Bailey Auditorium. Um, it was very nice setting. So, again, if we're going back there, I know what's up. Gonna know <laughs> it's going to be a nice place to dress to the T. <laughs> <laughs> you giving me that look like, yes. 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 <laughs> Let me tell you something. Um, I really, really just want to say that it was a really beautiful experience seeing people from Chicago supporting each other, yes. coming out, showing love. And the red carpet was amazing. And thank you so much to Art Norman. What oh, a great host. Norman, yeah. he, and he, and what he said was right. This is like the Chicago's Grammys. Okay. And he's right. And we just need a lot more support. And that's what I'm going to say. Definitely. I'm glad y'all have fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we uh, noticed. What South, were you doing? South yeah. by Southwest this year. Um, I had some events down there that I had to take part in, which were really dope, though. Uh. Uh, this year, my South by Southwest experience was probably my best. Um, I saw really? a lot of... Really? Why? I, we tore the stage down when we performed. Me and shout out to the homie Mellow the Truth. We tore okay. that stage down in the um, performances we did. But we really got to, like, network and um, just just... I guess this time the feeling of, of being there it wasn't like not knowing what to expect so we knew what to expect True. we went to get in get out and and you know we actually caught a, a concert while we was down there as well i got the chance to see 21 savage and uh, young and may <gasps> is a show yeah wow uh, yeah, it was, it was uh, yeah. black young it was real dope so. well that's really cool about uh going down there you just never know who you're gonna see exactly. right exactly a lot a lot of stuff i saw a lot of um content coming out of there and i really appreciate you for Thank putting you. stuff up on your Instagram and yes. the videos and just seeing, you know. Making us feel a little jealous. <laughs> not, not, yeah, I was, I was winning trophies. I, wasn't at the CMAs. I was winning trophies. <laughs> yes, we were winning trophies. I was busy. But you were chilling in a nice state with great weather. Mm. So great weather, a great jealous. views, great views as well. So, you know, but speaking of views, Urban Ground Lifestyle Magazine, make sure y'all check that out. Tati, give them the information about it. Yes, the magazine is coming okay. out. We're, we're getting it together piece by piece, almost done. So, you know, I'm very excited. I think everybody has a great article in the magazine. Um, I'm really anxious to read uh, Cryptic City. Okay. I heard it's going to be pretty good. Um, I heard that we're going to have this really cool person as our cover. So, Ooh, who is it? Do you know? Who is it? See, I want to tell you, <laughs> but. I'm a you know, vault. I like surprises. I'm a vault. <laughs> I like surprises. So I think get if you, when you see the cover, you're just going to be like, 
oh, duh, like, they, duh, that was a perfect fit for that person. Absolutely. So, yes. Make sure y'all check it out, urbangrindlifestyle.com. And then also check us out on urbangrindtv.com. We got some brand new content. Great show up there. Wednesdays, if you're in Chicago, check us out. 11 p.m. on Channel 25 on Comcast and Wild. And if you're in the western suburbs, Friday nights, Channel 19. Mm -hmm. And if you're not in Chicago at all, always go to urbangrindtv.com. Click. Just click the button, see the interview, see all the dope content. You might even see me on there one time or two. <laughs> you know? There's you mugs all know. over the place. We got a great, 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 great show, as always. We got the homie Jay Shields in the building representing Memphis. He's all here the to, way from Memphis? He's here to talk to us about the SEM Awards, man. I am so excited. Me as well. In like, May, right? Absolutely. And, it, and it's always a dope thing if you know what the SCM Awards are. You already know what to expect from this interview, and if you don't, be ready to be enlightened. Also, we got the homie D Moolah in the building, man. Mm -hmm. So it's the Booth Radio on Urban Ground TV. DJ Mays Tutta. The ladies is in the building today. So Sonia Escobar. Escobar. Set the bar. And Tati is in the building. We on our way to break, but we be right back to Booth Radio. The Booth Radio. Welcome back to the Booth Radio on Urban Grind TV. Y'all know me, hopefully, by now, right? I've been doing this show for a while. You think Ooh. they know me? With that quote, I'm going to know you now. What's <laughs> up, <laughs> Friday the East, East Side? Look DJ Mays tell you. Miss Escobar, how are you? Champion. I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited to have this. Go ahead. You want to say the word champion? Champion. Thank you. Right, one more time. Yeah. Champion. Right. <laughs> or how I like to say, champion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling great. I'm really excited because we have this young brother here who is just dynamic. And I feel like he's about to just explode. Absolutely. He's next to take off mm. on the Chicago music scene. But not just in Chicago, but, you know, I see national national and international uh, success from him. D. Moolah is in the building. <laughs> yeah. 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 What's good, bro? Hello, hola. How y'all doing today? Man, can't complain, man. How you liking this weather? Like, it, how you dealing with this weather in Chicago? It was like 80 yesterday That's and 40. 40 today. Like, <laughs> Man, it's bipolar weather. I don't know if I want to wear shorts or a coat. Right. <laughs> it's easier for guys, though. Why you say that? Cause pants, shirt, shorts, shirt. That's it. We either have like a skirt and it's too windy or a dress. Never mind. You don't get it. Yeah, you just. You give me that look, like and. Kinda. <laughs> and you just in Texas. Definitely it was like was eighty Texas. with a slight breeze. Yep, we ain't going. We well, welcome going. home. Yes, thank you. The Chicago. <laughs> All right, you gotta be ready for whatever, son. We got. We, <laughs> we got a guest in the building. We can't be like that. Are oh, you right? You're, I'm sorry. Son. I'm sorry. We have company. <laughs> So what's good, bro? Like, I know you've been working on the music. How that's coming? Yeah, it's coming along good. You steady working, staying in the studio, trying to stay active. I hear that. What's the, when the project coming out? Um, I'm thinking about dropping, like, right before summer. I'm pretty much getting that thing together now. Okay. And deciding on what day I want to release it. What's the name of it? Paper Chase. You got any features on it? Um, uh, you know, I got... I'd rather not discuss okay, that. Okay, you get you guys some if you ain't want to tell us yeah, yet. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I can dig that. Well, I thought we were family. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we family. <laughs> <laughs> what about production-wise? Like, which uh, who produced uh, the mixtape? My, my, my producer hmm. is uh, Smitty Beats. Shout out to Smitty Beats. Okay. That's my producer. He like the one I work with the most, like my main producer. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's my buddy. Now, is, is your sound changing a little? With the same producer, like, does it stay the same? No, or are actually, you guys? I, we switch it up. We, we don't okay. try to like have the same sound. We try to switch it up. versatile. Okay. I think that's important though, like to get a producer, a, one specific producer to hone your sound for you, and that way you know how to approach each thing different each time because you get to create magic over and over and over and over. Right. Yeah. We basically like work and build together. And pretty much balance each other out let us know what we're slipping on and what we need to work on mm -hmm. now if you guys don't agree on something how how does that work do you say i'm not doing it or let's try it this way no, we'd be like i'd be like no i want to do it this way or maybe uh -huh. we should try this way like uh pick something that me and him both can agree on okay because oh. I, I think like you really do need a very good producer because not just somebody who's gonna give you a beat but somebody who's gonna be like let me get a little bit more drums yeah right. let's get it so I'm just glad you found somebody like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So we got the project coming. What about the videos? Videos. I'm uh, planning on shooting a video to my uh, single One Life that you okay. can find on Amazon, iTunes, pretty much everywhere. The Booth Radio. Yeah, Booth Radio. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Every episode's in there. <laughs> 
Mm. <laughs> look, look, <laughs> she can't help it. <laughs> it gets the people going. Absolutely. <laughs> so, man, when 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 can we expect the video uh, one like like you shot it already or? Um, no, I haven't shot it yet, but probably sometime this month. Okay. Man, so you just been having fun, huh? Yeah, having fun and working. Talking about fun. Business and pleasure. Uh oh. What? You know Uh-oh. what? You're in high school, right? Uh-oh. Junior. Junior high school. Prom season. Uh oh. I've been looking at some of these dresses. It's like photo shoots. Facts. How how is the prom season nowadays for for us that aren't in high school anymore? Do you um, feel the pressure? Uh, in high school, like, prom is an important thing. Everybody get all excited. Uh-huh. I mean, it's important to me, but it's not. I feel like it's kind of overrated a little bit. Mm-hmm. But I actually went to prom last year. Right. Okay. So, yeah, I went to prom. So prom is nothing to you. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> average for you. A huh? Senior asked me when I was sophomore too. So. <laughs> yeah. It's not about you. Look at it. You're right. You're it's right. Not you're about right. You. right. <laughs> so how does Still. that work though? Like, do you approach the ladies about prom or they come to you? No, uh, actually, uh. Sometimes they actually come to me because my prom year haven't came yet, but right. they be asking me to go on prom with them. Wow. Sometimes I... Girls, come on, man. He a young guy. What no, you, but you they already see where he going. I mean... So right now, that's not his focus. He's winning. I'm Auntie Sonia right now. <laughs> He's winning. You can't be mad at <laughs> Auntie, Auntie, Auntie Sonia. I'm Auntie Sonia. <laughs> So how how is that though? As far as like uh, your music and school, like, do are your peers accepting to that, or do you feel like a lot of fake love, like people around you, you just because they know face. you uh, doing your thing? Nah, nah. In school, actually, it'd be a lot of real love, but other places, sometimes it'd be a lot of fake love. I know, how to, like, tell which is real and what's not. Okay. But uh, in school, they no, nah, they they behind me 100 percent though. No doubt. Plus, I feel like you're you're bigger than that already, right? Like your mindset is. It's what's next. Like, I really feel like, especially with a father you have, it's a legacy thing right now. Absolutely. You already know where you're going. So it's bigger than high school. Your your perspective is the scheme of things that like you see more. And that's what I love. Definitely. So I really, you know, I understand what you're saying. You're kind of like real chill about it because I would be too. You already wouldn't. In life. In life. T.T. Sonya gets dropped that game, bro. Yeah. So for the people who are not in tune with D Mula and want to follow you on social media, where can they find you? With? Um, you can find me on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, real underscore D Mula. That's D hyphen M L A H D Mula. Listen, he's next. Mm-hmm. Remember what y'all heard it Already. first. He's next. Mm-hmm. He's got it. I see the total package, mm-hmm. and he gonna be the one that one of those next guys mm-hmm. in Chicago that we talking about. And y'all heard him first right here on the booth radio. Don't on Urban listen Guys. to little fast little girls. TT <laughs> <T>. Sonya. <laughs> <laughs> All in. It's the Booth Radio. D Mula, we be right back. Yo, it's your boy D Mula. Right now, you need to tune in to the Booth Radio. I'm in your boss, I do what I want, cause I got a sauce. You not a boss, you talking to talk when I walk in the walk. I'm in your boss, I want it, I get it, no matter the cost. If you not a boss, you can't hang around, you gotta get lost. I'm balling on niggas. Call me Chris Paul. I'm flexing on niggas. Monday Night Raw. I can't get enough. I want it all. I know that they hate. Cause I'm a young boss. The moon not a boss, I do as I please, cause I got the sauce. You not a boss, no, we not the same, you not cut for my talk. They shouldn't know niggas, cause I cannot help it like I'm running off. Go pick up your chick, give her some dick, then drop her right off. She all in the feeling, she stalking my phone, or rejecting her call. I can't be a man, you can't get no money, bitch, tell to the no. I stay in my lane, I do my own thing, I never switch up. I, I double my chains, I double my bands, I double my cups. You be rolling up skinny, so I don't want none, smoke only stuff crooks. You niggas that right, the shit that y'all do made me sick to my good. I'm a top dog, you ain't shit but a little bitty ass mud. I give me a sack and dick it bit all, don't do no pay cuts. I'm in your boss, I do what I want, cause I got some sauce. You not a boss, you talking to talk when I walk in a walk. I'm in your boss, I want and I get it no matter the cost. If you not a boss, you can't hang around, you gotta get lost. I'm balling on niggas. Call me Chris Paul. I'm flexing on niggas. Monday Night Raw. I can't get enough. 
I want it all. I know that they hate, hate, cause I'm a young boss. I am said pay you work for a check that's minimum wage. I get to the cash 24 7, ain't no taking breaks. I'm eating real good, but I wanna look more like a man of a face. Just like the pound free, all of my dogs up out of the cage. Tan on my neck and my whip all black, I'm a runaway slave. Got pink in my cup, and I guarantee it ain't lemonade. I am too hot, my ass is too red, so I throw my shades. They can't tell me nothing, cause my money right, I'm feeling like yay. These niggas bipolar one minute, they love you, next minute they hate. Took off on these niggas, they looking up seconds, they fuck out of late. Get out of your feelings, get off of your ass, and get you some cake. Get out of your feelings, get off of your ass, and get you some cake. I'm in your boss, I do what I want, cause I got some sauce. You not a boss, you talking to talk when I walk in the wall. I'm in your boss, I want and I get it no matter the cost. If you not a boss, you can't hang around, you gotta get lost. I'm ballin' on Nicks. Call me Chris Paul. I'm flexing on Nicks. Monday Night Raw. I can't get enough. I want it all. I know that they hate, hate. Cause I'm a young boss. The Booth Radio. Welcome back to the Booth Radio on Urban Grind TV. I'm the pride of the East Side DJ MH Tutter. I got the homie man, Sports World's own Rusty Blade on the panel with me today. How you doing, sir? Man, feels good. It's been a while. Man. Absolutely. We got a great guest in the building, man. This guy is the founder of the SEM Awards. I've been following this movement for a while and was wondering what the SEM Awards was and how they all came about. And I finally got the guy all the way from Memphis, Tennessee, came all the way to Chicago to sit down and talk to Urban Grind TV and the Booth Radio family. Mr. Jay Shields is in the building. How you doing today, sir? I'm great. What about you? I'm great, man. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Been following the movement for a very long time, so let's get right to it. Um, what are the SEM Awards and what made you decide to put the awards together? SEM Awards is the Southern Coalition Movement Awards. It started in Arkansas and later moved to Memphis. It's an independent award show that features artists, business owners, entrepreneurs, graphic designers, record labels, clothing design, everything. So basically this whole Southern industry is a part of this. Right then, it just migrated um, to New York um, Chicago, we got people coming from um, Toronto, Canada, wow. South Africa, Great Britain. Wow. Just a mood around. That's that's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. So what what are some of the like categories um, that that's featured in the awards? Um, best graphic designer, entrepreneur, um, best we got the Pimp C Artist of the Year Award. Okay. Mama West gave that to me before she died. We owned a Bobby Womack. Um, R&B Artist of the Awards. Okay. <clears throat> R&B Artist Awards. He presented a couple of years before he died. Um, just a lot of different awards. One of my homies is nominated for one. Uh, DJ Waffles out of Atlanta. I see he's uh, nominated for one of the awards, so I'm rebooting for him. So, as far as let's let's go back a little bit though and talk a little bit about Jay Shields. Like, how did you decide to get in the business? Like, what made you become um, uh, decide that music is something you wanted to pursue. I used to be an artist myself and I dealt with so many janky promoters and everyone really didn't want to just help you out. I understand paying your way, but a lot of the promoters didn't even give you your money's worth, so I decided to be a coach instead of the ball player. Okay. I like that. I like that. So in, in coaching, how do you feel like you've changed the, the culture of not just Memphis, but uh, music, period? Education. Our main thing is to get the artists paid. Mm -hmm. A lot of people charge the artists for everything, but who can get the artists paid? Right. So we have like five royalty paying radio stations. We started um, setting up artists with their paperwork. Artists such as Project Pets, The Little Whites, The Fiends, making sure their paperwork were together. Okay. We also became a collection agency. If someone owed you that money, we came looking for it. Okay. You know, yeah. <laughs> I like that. So, okay, what what about what advice would you give artists who feel like 
they're not getting their just do or or artists who want to get to that level to get paid because I know a lot of artists who are still paying to be on shows and, and, and going an independent route however they feel like they want to be on these major stages what advice would you give them as far as to get to that level find, that, find them an outlet first of all know who you're targeting if you got this kind of style just say if you're into gangster rap don't, don't waste your time trying to target common fan base mm -hmm. you know find out your demographics then find out the people that offer those services that'll be willing to work with you mm -hmm. you know and don't try to just jump off the porch like i just wrote this rap and now i want to open up for a day or something yeah yeah you, know, you gotta just you just gotta wait your turn you gotta grind you gotta move around you gotta grind and you gotta move around then with the artists that think they think people owe them something because y'all run across them artists all like the you time, ain't absolutely. My music. Yeah. Like I knew you pulled the drop song. Right. So I always tell the artist, grind like you whine. If you can spend more time grinding than whining, you'll become a millionaire. Absolutely. I, I like that. <laughs> I know you said some of the radio stations, because we, we deal with Southern Exposure, you know, we affiliate. Can you, can you go through a broader base of the radio stations you work with? All right. We got SCM Radio, we got Maybach Radio. We got Southern Exposure, V104, and I Sound Myself Radio. Now, can you broaden some of the radio stations that you are affiliated with? Because Southern Exposure is one of them that we know. Uh, let us know the other stations that you work with. We got um, SCM Radio, Southern Exposure Radio, V104, Maybach Radio, and I Sound Myself Radio. All right, now, again, he said Maybach Radio. That's MMG, Rick Moss, Maybach Radio. That's correct. Official. A fish. There, there it is. Right. So, as far as like um, DJs that you work with, I see you work with like Bigger Rankin and, and D DJ Demp. Like those are some of the guys that I always looked up to. DJ Scream and the whole Hood Rich moment. Like, how did you um, become a part of working with those DJs? When I first started the Southern Coalition movement, you know, I used to reach out to the local DJs. I'm like, hey, I got a war show in January. It's July. What would you charge for me to DJ? Now, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing in that time. You know, my price could fluctuate anything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, people barely even know you. You cannot yeah. be booked that far. <laughs> so, due to my award show wasn't on the level that they wanted to be, you know, a BET type of award show, mm -hmm. they shined it. Mm -hmm. So, what I did was, I'm like, who do you guys look up to? So, I'll talk, I brought in bigger ranking. Um, one of my one of my promoters hooked me up with bigger ranking, paid them, got them their screen. They had so much fun to now when I throw the award show, I just call and let them know the date. Yeah, wow. And it's not about the money, you know what I'm saying? We got a thing, we got a saying that um, free is too expensive. You know, you don't really want people just doing free stuff for you because you might do something for free. Um, get this person this and they want a million dollars in return. Yeah, they might come to you and ask for more than what you what you done gave them mm -hmm. or what they done gave you. So <clears throat> with my DJs, I just let them know the date and they just let me know. All right, get the plane tickets, whatever you throw me. Okay. Yeah, I I, I like that. Like, um, I I feel like industry is definitely important, especially in in small towns where the where they're not record labels to walk into for artists or um, DJs or whatever to to go into. I feel like industry important and with the whole SEM uh, movement that brings industry from the whole south, not just one um, particular area. So my next question for you is, it Memphis hip hop has always been. Um, select few artists in my opinion right like you, you have the eight ball and the mjgs and then you had the whole uh three six mafia movement and everybody who came out of that camp and then it was young buck uh yo Gotti, and now uh uh what's uh dolph dolph so um is what what would you say is the reason behind it like is it a reason that like only certain artists get to that level or is it, if is memphis like chicago with this big melting pot but only a select few get to the next level well it work hand in hand dealing with memphis first of all you have to have an amazing project to really make it 
Okay. Because Memphis is a city like Chicago. You know, we are booked the trainers, the Nicki Minaj. And so when people like that are constantly coming in, sometimes the general public holds you to those aspects. You're an up and coming artist, and the first thing they say, you rap where well, you made that kid. Yeah. Then with a lot of these artists that are legends, they only reach back when they're not relevant. And then when okay. they reach back, mm -hmm. they're looking for someone to boost them back up. Absolutely. To become relevant again, then they forget about people. Then second of all, it's not enough networking going on. Mm -hmm. You know, it's too much beef and animosity. Yes. You know, Memphis is a crazy city. You'll hear about how prejudiced uh, Mississippi is. You'll hear how prejudiced the Carolinas, Texas, mm -hmm. Arkansas. But they killed Martin Luther King around a bunch of black people in Memphis. Absolutely. They couldn't get them in Mississippi. Yeah. What made them so comfortable doing it in Memphis? Absolutely. So until Memphis learn how to unify, to Memphis learn how to unify, it'll be like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'll just be like that. And <clears throat> instead of just working together, everybody trying to fight over who going to run it. It's enough money for everybody. Right? Yes. I hear promoters lie all the time. Well, with my party, we brought the city out. Memphis is a population of 600,000 plus. The biggest club holds like, what, two, 3,000? That okay. was the whole city. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's more than enough money, but you had this promoter over here promoting, and now he mad because this promoter throwing something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get, get past it. You have one artist drop a CD, now he mad because this other artist dropped a CD. Yeah. You can't even press up 600 CDs to, to um, supply these people with. Right. So it's more than enough money. Quit fighting over just the little bit and just put it together. Definitely. So which, with that being said, I don't want to go like in too much detail about it, but with seeing two of the most up-and-coming rappers in hip-hop with Dolphin, Yo Gotti, beefing in, in mainstream right now, does that separate, does that divide the city as well? Yeah, most definitely because you have fan base like... Well, I'm Team Dolph, I'm Team Yo Gotti. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the night, we got to learn to just get along. I be, I look at the situations, you know. I was formerly from the streets. Just say, this artist get into it with this artist, shots fired. This artist get into it with this artist, shot fired. Yeah. The feds looking now. Absolutely. The police looking now. Mm -hmm. You're indicting yourself. Yeah. And then just think about when you came into this music business, did you come into this music business to hurt people or kill people, or did you come in to entertain and make money? Absolutely. So stick to what you came into this music business for. Quit living up to everybody else's expectations. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like with me, I'm mild mannered, you know. When I'm on your side of town, I buy by your rules. Absolutely. Point blank. Absolutely. You know? you know, so that's that's what it all boils down to. Not thinking. Yeah. You know. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life in the federal penitentiary or any place like an animal? Mm -hmm. Just because this person said this or this person said that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, some of them can't help it, bro, because they be off all these drugs. They done promoted the rap game to the drug game. So you off lean, you smoking, you on alcohol, you on pills. It's hard to think straight when you're doing all of that. So you'll have somebody really go out there and forget that's what they came into the game for. Yeah, absolutely. But it's it's a question I want to piggyback off of we talked about earlier with the artists out there. You said the main thing, and this is correct, a lot of artists don't get to that plateau, like you say, because they don't have a budget. Mm -hmm. You can't get out here and grind without a budget. Right. So can you go on an aspect about coming across artists that want everything for free and not have a budget. You just really have to just break their heart and let them understand. I got into this, you know, to help people and to pay my bills. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're going to have to pay me for my services. You know, this is how I get paid promotion. So, will promotion pay me? Now, if you want a sandwich or a bag of grocery, I can give you that free, yeah. but don't the thing that's gonna feed my family never ask for it for free, mm -hmm. never at all. Don't ask for it for free. They're just like um, you. You do interviews and you rap. You are um, a DJ and you rap. Why should I come to you and say DJ this party for free? Yeah. And that's your trade. Yeah. Yeah. You know, pay your way. How many times do you go to your local grocery store and say, "Give me that grocery for free"? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hungry. Let me get this sandwich. <laughs> nah, you can't get it off clout, man. It don't work like that. So, Jay Shields, SEM Awards, what's the exact date for it? 
Uh, May 21st. All right. Uh, who's hosting it this year? Um, Bigger Rank and Lil Chet, CEO Miami Mike, and the lovely Bond that was gravy off the flavor of love. Oh, okay. Uh, Lil Chat, that's 3 6 Mafia, Lil Chat? Yeah. Man. Lil Chat would go back a long way. Man. Okay. Lil Chat, she, she bought a different type of flavor, man. I, I mess with Lil Chat. Definitely. So, who's been some of the past hosts of the SEM Awards? Who we? Um, Trina, Bigger Rankin, um, just the faces that have been there and performed. You know, you got the Young Dolls, you got the Fiends, uh, Mr. Magic. Okay. Rest in peace, Mr. Magic. Mm -hmm. um, Player Fly, Lil Peanut. He's on Nickelodeon now. Um, wow. And so many young king. Oh, Trioville. Wow. Just, yeah. <laughs> that's bringing the city out, man. Yeah, <laughs> Definitely. So May twenty first is, is is the date. Um, is there anything special that's gonna happen at the awards? That like uh, any special tributes or anything? Um, I'm gonna give a James Alexander, the um, founder of the Barcades, the Lifetime Achievement Awards. Oh wow, um, that's dope. DJ Freddie Hydro, he had the Rip Squad DJs. A lot of these DJs learned the craft from Freddie Hydro. Okay. Um, couple of more things that I'm not gonna talk about right now. Got you, Dan the Raps. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay. I can respect that. So. Uh, who performing? Like, you got any uh, artists that's performing that's gonna stand out? Yeah, I got the King of Twerk, um, K Stylist, he performing. Okay. I got, um, Izzy Robino, um, just a, just a few, Block Man, Memphis Queen, a couple more people that I know. Okay. okay. <laughs> No doubt. Speaking of Izzy and Robino, man, shout out to them. Uh, you manage those guys, right? Right. How did how did they come about? Like they uh, uh they just came to you with their music, or like what made you pursue those guys as far as management? Right. I had got a call from them, and you know we just chopped it up on the phone. And when we uh, um actually they sister had uh, gave me gave them my information. So when we called it, when they called me and everything, we chopped it up, and I just let them know. Who I, who I am and everything they had already knew about me. Okay. So we had said we were going to have a meeting. My DJ, DJ Q, he was in Alabama. So I called him back. He was in Alabama with Scream. Okay. I'm like, y'all want to go to Alabama? they like, yo, what's going on? I said, I got DJ Q and uh, DJ Scream down in Alabama. I said, y'all go down there. Y'all ain't got to pay for your rooms, um, get in the club, anything. Everything is taken care of. And which I wasn't expecting nothing in return, but once that happened, they they really wanted to go. Definitely. My philosophy has always been, if it's going to cost me, then it's going to cost you. Yeah. If it costs mm -hmm. me, most definitely it's going to cost you. Yeah. I like that. That's that's a real, real statement right there. So where can people find you at on social media if they want to get in tune with you? Well, you can. Um, I got a website. I think it's jshieldceo.com. You know, I need to start promoting it. Anything with SEM on it, SEM Awards, Southern Coalition Movement, um, Instagram, J A Y Shields. Like you hold up a shield to protect yourself with an S on the end with another SEM. Um, Facebook, J Shields, you know, basically. All right, it's the Booth Radio on Urban Grind TV. J Shields is in the building. Sports World on Rusty Blade. When we come back, y'all know what time it is, man. It's Break of the Yankee Time. Booth Radio. Ch ch chill. What's going on? It's Jay Shield CEO. You're now listening to the Booth Radio. Tune in or tune out.